I know most of you think all James and I ever do is work. Well, most weekends we are working on projects, but sometimes we do take time for something else that's fun. And this Saturday we spent time in Raleigh and had a great time surrounded by friends, beautiful cars. Sunday, we were back on our bathroom project. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, hey. All right, so a couple things on the bathroom again. Mm -hmm. Upstairs, I gotta get up there and move some wires around, but we're gonna talk about moving the vent fan to the middle again, and we're gonna put four inch can lights in the wooden beams. They make two different kinds of four inch can lights. These are what's called new construction. You normally put them up in the ceiling before the sheetrock, pre-wire them and all that sort of stuff. They make one that's called a renovation can, and that one pops up and it's got four little claws that uh, go out and grab top sheetrock. We can't do that because if you remember, we drilled into three inches of solid wood, more sheetrock above it won't work. So we're gonna take these, we're gonna pull them apart. We're gonna use the juncture box and the can light part of it. We're gonna drill little holes inside of it. We're gonna put it up in there and we're gonna run three screws in each one into the solid wood. They'll be locked in there, they'll never come down. And then we can connect these boxes right here, up there. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right, so the housing part of it, we're not going to keep. We're going to take this out of here. That's what holds the bulb. And this is what holds the electrical connection. We're going to get it out of there and it goes away. So we're going to rebuild the box with the side plates and everything else. This is what we're going to drill the holes in. This will stay up in the attic. I like these can lights because they've got these little quick connects, which are great. You strip the wire, put them in there. No need for wire nuts. And they've also got these little things here where the wire goes in. So you don't need the little half inch or three eighths inch knockouts. So I'm gonna do that times four. They'll go up in there, put three screws in each one. And they'll never come down. Then we've got our socket up there for that. We will be using LED bulbs in them. I don't know that I'd do this if I was using incandescent because of the heat. They do have a heat the thermal shut off inside these things if they get too hot. But I don't know if I'd do it just because the metal's up against a lot of wood. I wouldn't even be comfortable with incandescent, but I'm super comfortable with LEDs. They don't create the heat. All right, you saw in the first video of our bathroom over a year ago where we put the two can lights up, same tool. One of my favorites. Has a little dust bowl to collect the dust. Works pretty good. Center of the pilot bit right where the can light goes. And... Oh yeah, I forgot. We did a second one here. This is going to go right through. That's the new layer of sheet rock. There's the old sheet rod. You can tell because it's got that ugly texture on it. This thing's meant to go in one thickness of sheetrock, and I got two thicknesses of sheetrock going on. So what I'll do there is, I got the circle. Can you grab my knife for me? It almost went all the way through. I think I was just, I got a five eighths and a half inch, so I got an inch and an eighth of sheetrock, and that thing set to cut through five eighths. So I think I was too, a little too thick with my sheetrock up here. All right, so remember we got a can light sitting here, a vent fan, and coming out that vent fan, we had a spare wire that came to that can light. So what I'm gonna do now is go up in the attic, I'm gonna grab this vent fan from there, put it there, it's already pre-wired, take the wire that comes off of it, put it to one can light. And then I'm gonna daisy chain a wire from there to there, from there to there, from there, to there. And then I can come down here and do everything else down here. Why do I wanna do it down here? Because down here there's no insulation and dust and humidity and heat. It's just kind of nice. There's air conditioning and I think my wife is about to bring me a beer, so I'm happy. <laughs> Cheers. Look what I found on the countertop. It's a 
tomato, the thing, uh, something green, basil. bunnies eat. Oh, basil. And then there's a marshmallow. Mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. Mmm. <laughs> that basil from our garden? Yes. Oh, delicious. Mmm. I approve. Hey, buddy. Hi. I'm gonna put a can light over here. Do you want me to pass up a flashlight to you? Yeah, you got one handy? I'll get one. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Whoops. That part back later. Run away, run away, run away. You never too far to run. Run away, run away, run away into your escape. Run away, run away, run away. Run away, run away, run away. Kiss so loud that I can bear it. I don't remember which one is the vent fan. Okay, turn it off. Cool. I'll be right down. It works. All right. Pop this open. Check out the instructions. There we go. We're just going to wire this, put the box up there, put this up, and then I'll go up there and secure those to something upstairs. Easy peasy. Lemony squeezy. <laughs> Put little spots for you to bring your wires in that. Those of you just joining us on the journey to home renovation. This is pretty basic. <laughs> black goes to black and white goes to white and ground goes to ground. One's the power in, and one's the power out to the next light. And you're just going to hook them up like that, all together, till you get to the end. Then you only have one wire. And, uh, well. Pretty simple stuff. Try not to drop your tools, let you light fixtures. If you do, make sure a camera person's standing close by. Make sure your wife is out of the way. Oh uh, yeah, that too. I was gonna say that first, but uh -huh. I just everybody assumed it. You know, understood that you have to be told. Okay, so seriously now, this is electrical, serious stuff. Not really. Just lock down in there quite nicely. I'm just gonna trim all these to the same height and that just keeps everything nicer in the box because then everything's about where it needs to be lined up so i'm gonna take the ground strap right here i'm gonna pull out my two grounds remembering again one is i'm just repeating this just for people that literally are looking to learn this you got a ground for your light fixture right here you got a ground coming in from your power you got a ground going out for your power to the next light and that is literally it now remember, these are replacing wire nuts. So if you're like, oh, where did you put the wire nuts? These are replacing the wire nuts. They're in, in lieu of a wire nut. Remember not to strip your wires back too far, okay? These things aren't very deep. You go ahead and strip your wire back three quarters of an inch or, or an inch, you're gonna have bare wire showing. You want the wire to be completely inside, no bare wire showing, all insulation showing, that's it. They don't have to be stripped very deep. No exposed wires. Everything's nice and neat. We're going to take these and we're going to gently fold them back inside of the box. Because all electrical connections need to be inside of an approved metal enclosure or plastic enclosure. Main thing I guess I'm saying is approved. That plate goes on there like that. Yeah, like that. Or maybe like this. Like this. <laughs> there you go. That's that. So we're going to take this and we're going to push this nicely up into the attic. You see how the box goes right up there in the same hole that this goes up into. Then this follows up. We'll go up later and secure that box. This goes up here like this. 
And that is such a nice fit. We don't even need screws, but we're gonna put them in anyways because I'll tell you why. When you put the light bulbs up, they're a pressure fit. When they burn out and you gotta pull them down, if you didn't fasten the box in the ceiling because you thought it was a nice enough fit, you're gonna pull the whole box out of the ceiling. Insulation's gonna come down. And changing the light bulb is gonna become a whole new project. So let's do this right. Oh yeah. That's I'm pretty excited to see these lit up. Really, really nice. Well grab me a light bulb and I'll light one up for you. I'll show you this big tail right here, which is disconnectable here. We'll screw into the socket thusly. I'm gonna turn it on for a minute. All right, so there's our light. These lights are adjustable on the back for whatever room temperature you want. See that? Ooh. And change the temperature. Don't ever set them for this. It's a horrible light. It's a horrible way it to light anything. It makes you look sickly. It does, it makes you look ill. I don't like the really, really, I like that one. It's the first setting, it's not the first setting, it's the second setting, sorry. It gives you a bright light, but it's also still a warm light. It doesn't make you look sickly ill. Like you need to go and see a doctor quickly before it's too late. Let's put four of them up here and see how bright this bathroom is. It's about to get dark outside in a couple hours. We'll come back in, see them, see if we like them. Just one is, is already so much bright. Oh, yeah. This is not a bright bathroom, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible lighting in this house right from the very beginning. But we're getting all that changed up. That's just because of the year it was built. That's just the way oh, they yeah. things. That's how houses were built. We've got three of them up so far. We've got the can light in the center. We've got one more to hook to this wire here, and then we're done with the lighting in this bathroom. Look how much brighter it is. Jen, jump in here and comment about how much you like this light. Okay, James is right. So I've actually done a video, I think it's called Light It Up, where- Light it up, 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 light it up, 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 light it up, up, up. I'm on fire! Ah. <laughs> so, Lighting is super important depending on what kind of space and what kind of mood you're trying to create. But in the bathroom, this is a working space. You want to eliminate as many shadows as possible. So you want light coming down on you. You want light coming at your face. You need multiple sources of light to eliminate those shadows, to do your makeup, to shave. Yep. Um, and the light needs to be available to you. So. We're running all the light right now and they're just on a regular switch. If we decide that, you know what, it'd be nice to come in here at the end of the day, run a hot steamy shower, light a candle, whatever, and that's what you want to do at night, fine. Put a dimmer on it, bring the light down, but always have the ability to take the light up to a, to a very bright space. Some people say, oh, I don't see myself that good in the mirror. Well, then your makeup will show for it and your bad shave will show for it. You need to be able to see what you're doing when you're working in the bathroom. You've got to have good light. Yes. And like James was saying, if you want to create a mood, that's great too. I talk about in that other video, I'll link that below, um, how layering lighting is nice because if you need that bright working light, that's great. If you're trying to take a bubble bath and you want some mood lighting and you want the light nice and dim, put a dimmer switch on. Yeah. What we'll probably end up doing eventually is these four lights on the perimeter, the little ones we're installing right now, they'll be on one circuit. This light in the center that comes on with the can, it'll come on with the fan. So when you turn on the fan, you'll get the center can light. When you turn on the perimeter lights, so the perimeter lights can be on a dimmer. If you want to set a mood, lower them down, good to go. And just to give you a place of reference, lights on. Lights, lights off. off. Look how it just disappeared in the background. It's amazing the difference. We and still have the vanity lights on right now. Where Jen is standing, her face is being lit from the bedroom lights, but turn on the vanity lights again. Okay, now turn on the overhead. 
Not a single one of those lights is hitting her where she's standing. Mm -hmm. They're only lighting her from behind, but you can see how the contrast changed so dramatically. When she's standing in front of a mirror and she's got lights from the vanity mirrors coming at her, and now she has that contrasting light coming from behind her, fixing your hair, doing your makeup, shaving your face, whatever you're doing is going to be so much easier. Yes. Light up your space, people. Light up your space. Light it up. Now that's lit. All right, now that we have this awesome, amazing light, I brought the tile samples home. Oh good, let's take a look. Yes, so we talked in a previous video and I'll link that below where we walked the tile showroom and kind of made some decisions, but it's tweaked a little bit. So for the back wall, I want to do, we've kind of come to a decision on the cladding which is that ribbed kind of reeded look tile. And it comes in a 12 inch by 39 inch tile. So are your thoughts straight up and down or left and right? Straight up and down. Straight up and down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 39, so it's gonna take three tiles to get to the top, which is nice. Yes. It's one joint, two joints, done. I and like then, that. And then they sit tight together on the side. So you, you, this joint will look like just part of the reading. Mm -hmm. So very minimalistic on the growth joints. We are going with this linen look tile and this will go on this wall and that wall. Two and it'll also come down on the bench yep. seat. So. And it'll be the inside of this knee wall too. Yes. So those together, loving that. The floor, we both agreed, do something dark. Dark and dramatic. Yes. Dark and dramatic, and so we're looking at this one. Does that come in a 24 by 48? It does. Can I do the shower floor in a 24 by 48 then? Yes. Let's see. This shower is 36 inches wide. So if we do a 24 by 48, we're basically gonna have a grow joint every two feet. It's 10 foot long, four joints. That's it, and the whole thing. Now, we're gonna do what's called an envelope cut so we can use a tile that big on the floor. So there'll be diagonal cuts from each corner to the drain, but that'll be in another video. There's actually a video already up that yes. shows that too. I'll link the envelope cut video down below it's as well. It's a short, so you know, mm -hmm. it's like 59 seconds out of your life. Tile selections. All right. um, we'll get some measurements, get some of this material ordered up, and uh, pretty soon you'll start seeing some tile go down here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to pour a concrete slab in the shower, mm -hmm. we're going to waterproof the walls, and we're going to finish the sheetrock work in here. Probably not going to show you a lot of finishing the sheetrock work because you've seen a lot of that already, but we're going to get that wrapped up for you, and then we we'll start with the waterproofing and the concrete slab. That'll be the next video. Make sure you stay tuned for that. That is a big shower floor. Your average shower is about five foot by about two and a half foot. This is three foot by 10 foot. It's a, it's two and a half times a standard shower. It's, it's a big gonna space. It's gonna be a lot of work to pour this pan. So I think we're gonna wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, appreciate it. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Like. Give us a like. Give us some comments. What do you think about our tile selections? Yeah. I'd like to know. Not that it matters much because this is it's what our we're going to do when it's our work. bathroom. But, but we still like to know what other people's opinions are. Right. It might not sway in what we do, but still like to know your opinion. Yeah. And um, we had last week, we had somebody comment there in the middle of a bathroom remodel project that's kind of taking a longer time. They're mm -hmm. doing it themselves too. So if you're in the middle of a bathroom remodel let us know let us know we'd like to commiserate with you <laughs> <laughs> yes so, hey in next video we're going to show you the garden again because let me tell you it's the popping tomato plants are as tall as me they are it's getting really big see you next time guys